So hello everyone in this video I'll be giving you some introduction about REST APIs. What is actually REST API? Let's understand that. First of all let's have this question which is REST APIs. What is actually that? So the term REST stands for representational state transfer. It is an architectural style that defines a set of rules in order to create web services which means it is kind of a mechanism you can think of that uh, it uh, allows us or it gives us some architecture that uh, by following that we can create a web service a web service or whenever you want to get a data for example in case of a weather api or in case of uh, weather kind of app you, you are building you need a dynamic kind of data in that case you will be needing some uh, platform or from from the server you can get the data or that server will provide you that data which you need in your application so how you will get that data you will be getting that data with the help of apis and more specifically rest apis because 70 percent of the world uh, websites are built on rest apis or they use rest apis rest provides us architecture of uh, of an endpoint and it allows us to make request to that endpoint and we make request and then we get the data in form of a response which is uh, generally in format of json xml or in any kind of that so whenever you want to create a server architecture a server client architecture in that case you will be needing this rest apis to so to uh, allow the your clients allow your clients to get the access of your data which you have stored in your database so this is generally seen in many uh, big websites like uh, you can f uh, take an example of Google Maps API. They, pro they have built their system of Google Maps, but uh, now the other applications are using it. So they're, they're actually, they have created the REST APIs. So you, you can, or the other people can also take benefit from their, their data or from their maps api similarly it goes for the other one like uh, netflix api and uh, amazon api and weather api something like that so these are some kind of rest apis which allows us to uh, access their data in form of some fee or like sometimes it is free as well so it follows the structure of rest which is representational state transfer which means it doesn't have to store any kind of state in in the server it just gives the data whenever request is made and uh, we can modify that request uh, with the help of like uh, passing some headers like we can give some uh, type of data what kind of data we want from the what type of data we want from the API, these kind of informations. Actually, we'll be do doing all this in the practical manner as well. We'll be creating a REST API in modern stack in the next video. First, we'll be understanding what is actually REST API. So it basically is, a, is an architecture which, uh, like which allows us to create APIs and then we'll be, uh, if we follow this uh, REST structure, then it will be good for the clients to access the data. There are other, architecture as well to like create a rest api create apis like soap api is there soap architecture is there but we can like mostly rest is used because uh, it is the newer newer one and it is followed by the uh, general audience as well or the general development standard is rest apis in a client server communication rest suggests to create an object of the data requested by the client and send the values of the object in response to the user which means it allows us or it suggests us to create one object of the data which is requested by the client or the data which client needs actually so uh, after verifying the uh, like if the request is made then that data or some kind of information is sent to the client whenever he makes any request so it is kind of request and response uh, uh, scenario we can consider let's under understand with this simple example which is consider there is one client or a front-end application which is making a request to a server like maybe this if to this endpoint which is this one it, it is it can be called a uri this is one endpoint which you will be uh, getting from the api or this you can call an api endpoint 
you actually maybe you are making this request to the weatherapi.com and um, you want to ask the data for the Delhi weather so you will be making the request to this API or this endpoint then server will send you that data or the like Delhi temperature or everything whatever we need for the weather so the server will take your request and then it will give you the response of Delhi weather in the form of XML or JSON or in any other format you like so basically JSON is used because it is like highly uh, like customizable it is similar to the JavaScript object you see so this is a basic structure of a client server architecture uh, we've uh, this endpoint which you are seeing here is an API endpoint which allows us to get the data and to make we can make the request to this endpoint or these kind of endpoints in a server then that server will analyze our request and then uh, it sends the data which a client needs actually so this is basically the scenario we follow uh, whenever we want uh, a restful API service or to be created whenever we create a restful API or an API simply at that time we need to follow some uh, like we pass some methods like what kind of uh, a request is made actually so request can be of different types for example uh, a get request a get request is kind of request in which we ask the data from the server so basically we are we are telling the server that we want to get this data so that for that we'll be making the get request there is another kind of request which is post request or the post HTTP request which allows us to uh, create a new data in the server or in the database we send the request with uh, some additional payloads or body that is called body with that body uh, server creates the data or like the new item in the database or any way it wants to create so that is actually the post request whenever the client is telling the server that take this data and create this uh, new data in your database so this kind of uh, request is called post whenever you are creating any data inside the server and the another one is put request put is for updating the data if you if client wants to update some kind of record in the uh, database or in the server then it makes the put request so this actually updates the data inside the database or like the server updates that if it is in a normal file as well that also it will change if the request is made as a put request the other one or the last one is delete request there are also other methods as well we'll not be talking about that because the this is the basic uh, like methods which we use normally in the restful api the other one is delete the delete data or the delete request is actually used to delete a data from the database or from the server location so we make a delete request to the server then server analyze that that it is a de delete request then i should delete the data uh, we also send some information like regarding the data which we want to delete so that uh, is analyzed by the server and then it takes the action it actually deletes the data if you are making the delete request so these are the four basic uh, http methods or http request methods which we follow while making the api request yeah, the request can be of any of the like each or any of them like if you can make get request post put or delete anything we can make request of the other uh, like buzzword is crud operations what are crud operations the thing which we did inside this in an application a crowd op operation stands for create r stands for read u stands for update and d stands for delete if we are following all these like if you are making request to the server and we are creating the data in in our application we are reading the data which means we are getting the data if you are updating the data and if you are deleting the data that means we have successfully built an application which follows all the crowd operations crowd operations is uh, like following all these four basic operations which are 
generally used in an application we normally create data we read data we update data and we delete data so this is the basic operations which we which is followed in uh, almost all application so whenever this is present in any application we call it that uh, it is uh, like the crowd operations is followed there so we do this with the help of rest apis by making some requests which we have already seen like we may get requests for reading data post for creating put update and delete as for deleting so whenever we are making those requests uh, which means uh, that we have successfully built a crud operations or crud operations application which follows crud operation actually so this is actually what i wanted to tell you about rest apis uh, we'll be practically building an application uh, in one stack in the next video in the upcoming video thank you for watching let's meet in the another one